Hello everybody, good evening. It's a Wednesday evening. Uh, 11 minutes after 9. I'm now going to show you how to get at least minimum 2 miles more per gallon of gas. Okay, you're going to see like I had this is a little combined high rain city. I drove 23 and a half miles on two gallons. And now I'm down below the I'm on the last gallon right now. I'm stopped here at the gas station at the pump. I'm gonna put about $9 in. That'll give me more than two gallons. I hope the gas gauge moves. Because when it gets down there, it doesn't move until you put like about $15 in, but I, I can only do nine. I can't do fifteen because I need the money for some other shit. Anyway, here goes. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It don't show. It don't show. And nine dollars. It's two point five gallons. Two and a half gallons exactly. Two point five seven two. Okay. <sighs> Alright, the gas gauge came up. It didn't move up. There we go. I'm up over the E. See that? I'm gonna zero out my trip meter. Zero. And we're gonna do all city driving. A little music maestro. Like when you got your blower on for your heater and all, and once the car gets warmed up, take it off the high speed for the lower speed because the lower fan speed uses less like gas mileage. Okay, here we go. simple trick. This is all city driving. Okay? It's two and a half gallons. So, when this is sitting above the E, we can see how many miles I drove. I bet you I get 10 or more miles for the one gallon. Which is great for the van because you see my little check engine light on there? I got two bad sensors on there. It's killing my miles to gallon. Ever since I bought this fucking thing. The EGR valve, the automatic idle control, just the thing. You know, fucking this fucking mileage up. 
I'm lucky to get eight, eight and a half miles to the gallon in the city. Breaking on the highway gets over like 22 miles to the gallon. There it is. Okay, I'm up 20, I'm up at the speed limit. Throw the van in neutral. Coast the rest of the way. Okay, the light is green. I don't want to miss it, so we gotta keep the speed up. I mean, if you have to stop, you know, if you don't have to stop, just take your foot off the gas once you get up to speed, see? And throw it in neutral. Don't keep your foot on the gas and throw it in neutral, because then you can burn gas. I'm in neutral now. I'm coasted, I need low speed. I'm, I'm 32 miles an hour. This is downhill, I'm gonna gain speed. Yeah, you're gonna get cars passing and stop talking, them, let them go. You're saving a fortune. Let me put it this way. Of course, you know, you're more, you're better tuned for automobile and uh, stuff like that. Your newer cars are gonna get like four miles more to the gallon doing this shit. Here I am. As old as I am, I just gotta think about this now. I've been driving since I was fucking 18 years old. 42 years I've been fucking driving. I just think of this now. God, the gas pigs we used to drive years ago. Oh my God. Put it in drive. I go to neutral and we coast. And you'll feel your vehicle pick up speed when you put it in neutral. Because it's now free rolling and no gears matching. We're turning. Nothing. Where am I going? I'm going to the next red light with everybody else. This is 25 miles. This is too slow for this, this stretch of street. Here. I'm going to get over to the left. But right now, if you have one of them cars with a digital readout that shows miles per gallon, it would be at its max at 80 miles per gallon. Trust me. I'm averaging 45, 50 miles to the gallon. I'm in neutral, I'm coasting. I'm doing just on the third. I get I get a pickup speed again because I'm gonna run over here and it's kind of like highway driving right now because the lights are all green. So I'll be doing like 25 miles to the gallon right now. Just, just stretch it to half a mile here. My son's car, the Acura, he's got that thing. And like, one time I was on fucking uh, 95, I put it in neutral. We're going downhill. The fucking thing went all the way over to like, you know, which shows like 75. And I don't know how many, you know, when it's beat, and it stayed there. You know, it was like a one mile downhill slope. I didn't lose any speed at all. It went from. 65 miles an hour down to 60. That was it. And I'm rolling in neutral. The car was free rolling. It was fantastic. It's easier on your brakes when you stop because there's no gear. You know what I mean? There's nothing. It's, it's easy. You, you, you'll be able to stop easier. See? 
you're not hurting the transmission, you're saving your transmission. You don't jackrabbit start. Of course, all the other tricks, keeping your tires properly inflated. Front wheel drive cars, you want 45 pounds in your front tires. You want 42 in the rear. Okay? Or 40. I would say 42. I would say 42. If you want as much air pressure in there, the vehicle off the ground. Like, you know, uh, snow and ice, you want to drop your air pressure to like 35 because you need more traction in the snow. Or it's going to be spinning your rubber and using a lot of gas tear your transmission up. Um, keeping your car waxed and polished and clean will cut down your air friction. Not that much, it's about half a mile more per gallon you might gain. Maybe, I don't know. I, I, I forget what it was. And of course your oil clean, your filters clean, you know, all that stuff, your PC valve, PCV valve. Yeah, you know, when the stuff gets clogged, this shit it ain't working right. The catalytic converter will destroy your gas miles, it will destroy your engine. When that thing goes, you'll be lucky to get three miles to the gallon. Oh, you'll know it right away, too. I mean, your gas gauge will be moving like your speedometer, going negative. When the catalytic converter goes, it goes bad. And then it'll be glowing like red. You know it's bad. You can do like I do, cut it off, put a straight pipe in, and drive. Fuck it. If you got a mechanic that knows you, don't pass you. As long as they didn't do it. Who did it? Oh, fuck. If I spent like $175, $195 to have a new catalytic converter plant. Overpriced pieces of shit. Scrap running, I ain't driving this fish. I want someone on the highway, like you know. Sometimes they go on the highways and stuff. And that's too fucking cold tonight. It's like fucking 14 degrees right now. Fuck me. And with the wind chill, I don't even want to talk about it. Jimmy's used auto parts up here in the, the which we call section, the Fishtown section of the Philadelphia. This is your typical stop and go driver. I said you don't have to put it in neutral, you know, so much as just take your foot off the fucking gas and coast to your stop signs and your red lights. Do you have to stop? If you're one of those guys who likes to slide through a fucking stop sign, you know, the rolling stops and stuff like that, it's a $125 ticket. Full stop free. And we got some candies around here that'll nail you every fucking time you do it. Here in Philadelphia, they we call it the, the Philadelphia slide, you know, people roll through the stop sign, they never really come to a complete stop. But the way people are today with your cell phones, even when they're in the fucking street, they're not looking. They're gonna walk right the fuck in front of you. And you won't see them coming. 
because they're coming from the other side and you look at the traffic coming and they're coming from the other way and they're walking fast and they're looking at their cell phone when they're talking they're not looking for the traffic and they're thinking she's gonna stop because they're in the street fuck you bitch fuck you prick you're getting run over how's that sound i don't care if you're in the fucking horse walk or not you're supposed to watch where the fuck you're walking you're supposed to see cars in there I'm ready to go to me, I gotta stop again because you're in a hurry with your fucking cell phone to get across the street. <laughs> this is me off. Maybe we'll find a couple of them fucking jerk off. I, I, I know I will. I know I'm gonna come across them. Ah, uh, shit, they're with my battery again. I'm gonna on the battery, but I'll make this. I've only driven. Be three miles. That's three miles so far. You can make a dent in the gas. Trust me. I'm coming to a stop sign. I'm in neutral. I'm at 22 miles an hour. Trust me, no one's moving much faster than that in these fucking city streets. We got a lot of traffic. We got a lot of pedestrians. It's only uh, 927 in the evening, so there's a lot of people out on the street still. I'm coasting. Should be losing any speed? No. Nice smooth stop. One fourth of the block, you get up to your speed, then throw in a neutral and goes to the stop sign. I am in neutral. That put it in drive, the bus has to wait. I hope he waits. Sometimes they don't. These bus drivers are bricks in this fucking city. Especially like you're trying to make a left turn before the light, you know, don't go through the red light. They won't let you go. They won't let you turn. You can't make the left on the green light because you got cars flying through. So just before it turns red, you start moving and the fucking bus will go. One guy almost fucking nailed me. I had to stop. I'm screaming and yelling. He stopped and he looked at me. Yeah, what the fuck you want to do? I said, get out of the fucking bus. I'll show you what I'll do, buddy. Big black dude, too. All right, piss me the fuck off. I said, you just didn't want me to make that left turn, did you? Huh? You didn't want me to make that left, did you? Off, that's it, I'll end it right there. I thought I had a little battery charge on this thing for this thing to get me. I don't know why why it's doing that. I didn't have it on before. Oh that's right, even when it's on, even when it's off the battery still discharges. Unless you pull the battery out of the thing. I forgot about that. Because I normally get like about that 45 minutes on this thing with a full charge.
neutral. I just hope these people go a little faster because I'm gonna be getting speed so ah! 20, 25 miles an hour. Watch this. Four miles so far. Four miles. I guess they do it faster because then I'll be burning more gas. Now I am in no hurry to go anywhere. I don't have to be anywhere. I don't have to pick anybody up anything, nothing. I'm almost 30 miles an hour. I'm going to go to the neutral. I, my foot is off the gas and I'm catching this guy on my... He's coming in front of me. Can you believe this? I had to hit my brakes. Un fuck unbelievable. I think the basketball game just finished. Not good to be driving in this fucking traffic. The Philadelphia 76ers at the Wells Fargo Center. I know they lost like 11 or 12 games straight. There's no to lose. This guy made the team to lose. Start fresh next year, then we get some top nine players in. We draft, you know, with the lottery balls, all that shit. Hey, you turn like that. Off the speed. Five miles. I should get at least five miles more. Let's hope the camera don't go dead. It's been five miles.
sometimes it don't pay to drive too slow. coasting like at a slower speed the light might turn green you might not even have to stop well you're gonna have to put because your speed your, your momentum is lost you know a little bit by the time you get there but I yeah, see the light changing now this guy this guy getting any time on me not a bit I'm right there with him think about it. if you have a 16 gallon tank and you get four more miles to the gallon okay I'm thinking that you know a top tuned up newer vehicle you know that's not like you got 200,000 miles on it run like a piece of shit like this fucking thing we'll get four miles more to the gallon um miles more per tank full. Sixty-four miles more per tank full. That's a free trip to Atlantic City for me. Oh my, it's like sixty-something miles to the borders of Atlantic City from my door. Um, wow. Seven miles. Now I don't know if cold weather driving affects your gas mileage or not, as the hot weather driving. Uh, I know keeping the windows up, you have less air drag. And of course, in the winter time, you don't want the fucking windows down. You can freeze your balls off. <laughs> In summertime, you might put your windows down, but at low speeds, it's not that much of a drag. You know, the air coming in, rushing into the vehicle. Seven point 
10 miles. I gotta go 2.8 miles. Up to go to a red light and stop. <laughs> Did you make my fucking day? They're going by me 90 miles an hour from one red light to the next. I see them like when I'm at work and I'm sitting there in the beach reading them. Cars and trucks are by from, from 10th Street to 9th Street at, like at 60 miles an hour. What the fuck for? You're going one fucking block. Alright, so you make that one light, you're stopping at 8th Street. You'll make it to 9th Street, but you're not going to get past 8th Street red light. And you're tearing your fucking transmission up, your fucking, your engine up, your gas mileage, every fucking thing, to go 60 miles an hour for two bucks. What the fuck for? I mean, yeah, I did it when I was a kid, but not in the city. I had half a fucking brain at least when I first started driving. Shit. When they opened up that AC Expressway at 70 miles an hour, who the fuck did 70? We were doing 90 miles an hour to go down to the Wildwood Shore Point. Instead of driving an hour and a half, we drove an hour. I mean, this is ridiculous. I should stop when you drive, go. If you get down a little bit, I'm a neutral. This is downhill slope.
half miles. I think it's eight miles. I was getting eight miles to the gallon before, I remember. I still have not burned a gallon of gas. I'll have 10 miles registered on this thing and I bet you I still didn't burn a gallon of gas. I'm getting two miles more to the gallon, okay, on a van that needs a lot of little tune-up shit, okay? It hasn't been tuned up since I bought it. It's got 200 and something thousand miles on it. Five miles an hour in neutral. You see, I'm doing a pretty good clip here. It's kind of like a little upgrade, not much, flat ground. Neutral. Coasting. Uphill and down. Nine miles. Coming up. I'm at 8.9. Yeah, that's right. I was getting eight miles to the gallon before. That's right. Because I remember I put two gallons in and I was on fucking empty again after like 16 miles of driving. So this can't be. Is this fucking bad? Nine miles. It'll be 10 miles by the time I get home because my house is at the 10th Street and I'm on Front Street, which is actually 1st Street. I'm a couple blocks above the street that I have to turn on. Nine point two miles so far. I really have here. Somebody said it's a gallon. I said, no, I think it's more than a gallon. I think it's a gallon and a half to two gallons in my vehicle. I got a 25 gallon tank in this bucket. I see him at 2th Street. I got to go to 10th Street, past 10. So, we got it, baby. So, there's nine and a half miles. Clears off. I'll go get the parts I need. Two vacuum sensors got to be replaced. I got a guy behind me that's in a hurry. I'm gonna pull over and let him go. Some prick disabled veteran in a fucking Cadillac. Real disabled. He's driving 90 miles an hour when he stop signs. Oh, oh no, I'm joking. He's not going. He's, he's, he's doing normal speed, you know. But I don't want to stay in front of him. Because you get these guys, they like to go, they flex the lights when you come up to the stop sign, you know. They want you to roll through the stop sign. They want you to keep moving fast. Everybody's in a hurry to go nowhere. I 
you're going to a casino around here, they're open 24 hours. What the fuck is your hurry? You're in a hurry to go lose your fucking money? Not me. I take my time getting there, and I take my time coming home. We're gonna lose. Of course, it's always nice when you win even 50 bucks. You feel like you did it good, you know. Still over the eight, so that was one gallon I used. It works, folks. You wanna come with me while I park? Eh, <laughs> good luck. I might have to drive another another three blocks before I find a fucking spot. Bite to eat, sit up, watch TV, play on a fucking computer, make some blogs, make a blog about this, put this video in. It'd be cool. Peace out. Billy Bill sends blogger. Bye.